we are talking about inflammation, we're talking about the new concept of f- food as a drug with Dr. Barry Sears, who is the founder of the Inflammation Research Center and the Zone Labs and... Sinotech Foods. Sinotech Foods, and we'll get that information later on. But uh, Doc, so we're looking at this COVID-19 now, we've gone over a year into it, and uh, people talk about, we're seeing patterns, right? So comorbidities, if you're older, if you have hypertension, if you have diabetes, if you're a man, <laughs> if you're type, a blood type thing. But I can't help but think that these don't really pay the, the, the deeper picture. What is the common denominator? What is it that is common to all these people, all these individuals that makes them more prone to having more severe forms of COVID-19 and dying from COVID-19? What are your They're thoughts? All- the common denominator is they're all inflamed. The complications, the complications of COVID-19 are due to basically an overproduction of inflammatory mediators. Now we think of inflammation as, oh, that's the bad guy. Well, if we had no inflammation, we would not survive in this world. Mm-hmm. Without inflammation, we'd be a sitting target for microbes. Without inflammation, our physical injuries would never heal. But we have to turn it on, but then we have to turn it off. That's the other part of inflammation, the resolution. So we have to ask the question, not why people basically uh, die of COVID-19, but why do many of the people, especially in America, uh, 80% of the people, 40% never have any symptoms whatsoever. Another 40% of their symptoms are so mild, they just don't even recognize it. Uh, 20% now will have severe saying something's wrong. Perhaps half of that will go to the hospital and of the ones that go to the hospital, about half will die. What's the common denominator? Excess inflammation. It's not that basically the COVID-19 is causing inflammation. That's how the body attacks it. Mm -hmm. The body's unable to turn off the inflammation. Mm -hmm. Then you get what's called the cytokine storm and everything basically falls apart. So our goal is saying, we can look at COVID-19 and the complications of saying it's really a disease of a blockage of the body's internal resolution response. That's how we heal. And when it's blocked, nothing heals correctly. That's why now we can look back at many diseases which are linked to inflammation and say, yes, we can see the inflammation, but we can't see the blockage of the resolution response that turns off the inflammation to set the stage for the body to heal itself. Hmm. So what you're saying is that, and if I may get this right, people's quote unquote food, the dietary lifestyles, the physical lifestyles, maybe even their genes, make them more have a higher level of inflammation in their bodies, which sets the stage for a more severe form of COVID-19 should they acquire, should they get contra- contract the virus. Exactly. And what, what's the easiest way to find out if you're inflamed? Test. Sure. No, no. The easiest way, go to a mirror, take all your clothes off and ask to say, do I look fat? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and we all know what that means. I, okay. I, I'm, I'm all by myself say, no, I'm, I think I'm fat. If you're fat, that means you're already inflamed because your fat stores, excess fat stores are the breeding ground for inflammation. Mm. And that's why the, the number one predictor of complications of COVID-19 are obesity and age. Mm. Why age? Because as we age, the body becomes more inflamed. Mm. And so all the complications of aging that we talk about are really complications caused by inflammation, but in reality caused by a blockage of the body's natural ability to resolve inflammation and heal. Mm. And so when you begin to look at this thing, all of a sudden medicine is not that complex. Well, we've wanted to say, it's a very arcane say, we have a drug A for disease Z. No, we just have to basically get the body to basically optimize the resolution response, which is under profound dietary control. Hmm. Most people say, oh, but that sounds so boring. What's boring is being in a hospital on a ventilator. That's right. But, but the fact is, you know, the data is quite clear. Actually, the, the most recent studies came out only about a week ago 
that say those who had higher levels of, of inflammation in their blood, you know, about a 90% greater chance of dying from COVID-19, all things being equal. You, that's, a, that's a paper that came out recently? Yes, yes. Oh, I need to have that paper. We'll, we'll probably get that and probably publish it on our, on our, put it on our I'll, website. I'll, I'll, I'll send the copies to you. And right. so, uh, so again, it's showing very clearly in the paper that as you reduce the or increase the levels of these omega-3 fatty acids in your blood, mortality goes down dramatically. Hmm. Now, is that all you can do? Oh, you can do far more. And, but the, the far more is, again, these other aspects of the diet, uh, which is almost like a, a combination lock. Mm -hmm. A combination lock, you have to turn to the left, to the right number, then to the right, to the right number, and then back to the left, to the right number. And if you do, magically, the lock opens. Mm -hmm. But what if you have one of those numbers missing? Mm -hmm. The lock's not going to open. Right. And so we're really looking at food as is really a combination therapy, like in cancer. We never use a single drug in cancer. That's right. You use multiple drugs. Likewise, you're using multiple food components because each one has within it the ability to basically change the hormones and more importantly, change the expression of our genes that opens that combination lock to allow us to go in and basically reprogram the body's immune system.